SharePoint, and other web parts. No discussion of security would really be complete without discussing you know, how you can add other web parts other than the ones in RT web parts to your web part pages. Uh, one of the more interesting ones is, is the content editor web part that ships with SharePoint. Gives you a wonderful rich text editor that you can use for inserting formatted text, uh, pictures, etc. Let me give you an example. I'm on a typical web part page here. I'll go ahead and choose to edit the page. Now as we've done, I add a web part, uh, including of course uh, the Pi RT or the RT web parts that we ship, but of course we can also ship or we can also add other web parts. So in this whole long list that we've been looking at, we've been skipping over some pretty interesting ones. If you go under miscellaneous, you'll find a, the content editor web part. It's a great web part that you can use for adding all types of content to your web part page. So for example, if I go into edit and then modify shared web part, now here's that rich text editor I was talking about. The rich text editor brings up a nice environment in which you can create format, create text, format the text, insert pictures, just do all the things that you would normally associate with a good text editor. So you know, here is my new page, and I can make it bigger, smaller, etc. Whoops, need to select it first. Uh, I can do all the things you would normally do in a good text editor, and of course I can also. As I mentioned, I can also insert, even insert uh, pictures. So I can go out here and search for pictures, bring them into a SharePoint document library, and then share them generally here. So that's an example of a content editor web page. And there we go. Let's exit out of edit mode. As you can see, there's my content. Now, in addition, we also have a link web part. Or there is a web link web part. Uh, you can see this link web part right here. This is where I could add, if I wanted to, uh, links both to regular internal SharePoint web pages or external web pages. There's no restriction on that. So we can do links to other web parts. And then finally, uh, there are third-party web parts available uh, out there for uh, for use. So just because it doesn't ship with the system uh, doesn't mean uh, there is not a web part that may do a, a, an excellent business solution for you that you can't solve any other way. In fact, I've read that uh, there are some web parts out there just simply free of charge that people have been using for things that they can't solve any other way. So the best way to find that is just go out and do a Google search for third-party web parts. Uh, now each of these web parts is going to have its own mechanism for integrating with the SharePoint environment, but there are some good third-party web parts out there that you may you know, that may fit the bill if you've got a particular need that's not met by what you've seen so far.